guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new, my name is Heather. I'm a homeschooling mom of three kids, elementary and high school age. Today I'm really excited to be sharing a math lesson with you from teaching textbooks. We are going to be going through what I do in my family for my three kids, for teaching textbooks. If you do not know about teaching textbooks, they are an online homeschool math curriculum. We have been using them for several years now, mainly for high school level math. When my kids get into pre-algebra, they transition into teaching textbooks and it has been absolutely wonderful. My oldest, Emma, is in pre-calculus this year. It's her last year of our homeschool. <laughs> Uh, my son Jack is in geometry and Lucy, my youngest, is actually doing level five this year, which is new for us and it is working so, so well. I absolutely love how excited she is to do math each day, which has not been something that she has enjoyed in the past. So having a little bit of excitement for her each morning when she starts her math lesson, very, very good for mom. So I'm going to kind of take you through the path that I take with all three of my kids. All three of my kids kind of use teaching textbooks a little bit differently based on their needs. And that is one of the things that I absolutely love about this program is that I can use it in a way that makes the most sense for each of my individual kids. So the first thing that I do is I actually log into the parent portal and I look at the lesson that Lucy will be working on first I like to make sure that I know whether there's something that she needs to be able to refer back to this was especially important when she started learning about the Roman numerals she needed a little bit of extra guidance she has not learned how to take notes through a lecture yet so what I do is I go in and I see what is on the lesson ahead because you have full access to the whole ebook for the entire course and then I will print out if there are reference materials that she needs for her practice problems and her actual problems. If not, I will just let her go and do her lesson on her own, but oftentimes I will just print out the lecture section so that she has that as a reference and doesn't have to go back and forth. It is possible to go back and forth to the lecture when you're using teaching textbooks, but this is the first course that Lucy has used on the computer, so it's a little bit easier for her to have the paper in front of her. Then for my oldest, she has enjoyed taking a hybrid approach to teaching textbooks since she started using it many years ago, and so what I do is print out her lesson. However, this year she has been doing pre-calculus more just on her iPad. In years past, it has been really helpful for her to have the lesson on paper for her to work through and then put her answers into the program for automatic correction rather than doing it all online right to begin with. But this year she has been mainly doing her entire lesson on her iPad. I am still printing out the lecture just in case she wants to refer to it, but she is using the scratch pad and able to do everything right online from her iPad. So that is the first step printing out the materials that we need. Now, you will notice that I did not say anything at all for my middle guy. He is very independent with this subject and he likes to just move through it as quickly as possible. He is my get up and get it done guy. <laughs> every single day um, for school so that he can move on to his passion projects later in the afternoon and have as much time as he can have for his passion projects. Once I have the materials printed out that I need for my oldest and youngest, I pass those off to them and they can get started. One of the best things about teaching textbooks is that it is completely self-taught mom does not need to be involved at all. I just happen to really enjoy math and like to take a more hands-on approach, but my kids are all able to log into their teaching textbooks level, whichever level they are using. They can sign in, they can do the lecture all online, they can then answer the practice problems. There's usually four or five practice problems, and then you know between 20 and 25, normal problems, the practice problems you don't get graded on, but the other problems you do, then you they are able to work through those problems. If they do not get the problem correct, they will get a second chance or a hint. Those are 
options that you can turn on and off in the parent portal. You do not have to give your child a second chance to answer the problem. You can turn that off. You can turn on and off hints. I have those turned on for all of my kids. I think it's very helpful. But if they are still getting the answer wrong, then teaching textbooks does have a full immediate walkthrough of how to do the problem, which is very, very valuable. You get that immediate feedback when your child is working through the math program. Now, sometimes there are problems where even if they see the solution, they're still unsure. And I think that this is especially helpful for the higher level maths. Teaching textbooks offers tutoring free tutoring with your course access, with that 12-month access to the course. If your student is really struggling, you can call their customer service line, tell them whichever lesson they are struggling with, the problems they are struggling with, and they will call you back, and uh, they will set up a time to call you back and work through that those problems with your students. So I think that's especially valuable for the higher level maths, and that is something that a lot of people don't realize about teaching textbooks. So I wanted to mention that. So once I have everything printed out, I will kind of let my kids loose and they will start to work on whichever teaching textbooks lesson they are on for the moment. And I like that they are able to go through it on their own. It depends on the level, obviously, how long the lecture is, how long the teaching part of the lesson is, and then depending on the concepts that they're working on, if it's something really difficult or new, it may take them a little bit longer to get through all of the problems, but they are able to work independently through that, get the immediate feedback if they do get a wrong answer and wrap up their math lesson in a very independent way, which is awesome for me. I have three kids at three different levels teaching all of the subjects. Having something taken off my plate is definitely, definitely helpful. So once they are done with math, I am able to go in and check their grade book. They can see their grade book as soon as they are finished with the day. If there are a lot of wrong answers, I will go in and delete those answers and then sit down with each individual student and kind of walk through everything with them to see where was the problem. Oftentimes with my youngest, it is she has not understood the problem correctly um, because like I said, this is her first online course. So she has a little bit more of a learning curve as far as understanding how they're asking the question or she may click a wrong answer by accident, not realizing what she's clicking or thinking that she put in one thing, but it was actually wrong. Um, so we will go back through that. I love that I can go into the parent portal. I can go into the grade book and I can delete the answers that she has gotten wrong and go back through those with her. I typically do that every day, even though it does walk you through the solution, which I think is very valuable. I come back later in the day to go through that and help her correct the answers just to make sure that she is understanding the content before she moves on to a new lesson. For my older two kids, I will go in and look at their grade books at the end of the week and I will delete any wrong answers that they have so that they can work through the corrections over the weekend before we start a new week of school the next week. That does not mean that they get a perfect score. There are still times when they do not get a problem correct and that is okay. And they are far enough away from walking through the solution at that point that I feel comfortable with them correcting the material. I want them to be understanding the material and teaching to mastery is really important for me as a homeschooler. So I want them to go back in and try again and try to get wrong answers correct. So teaching textbooks is actually one of those amazing programs that is completely hands off for the parent if you want it to be. It doesn't have to be. You will notice that I probably do a lot more with teaching textbooks than most parents need to. And that's just a personal preference, but it's also one of the things that I absolutely love about teaching textbooks. It gives me the opportunity to make it into a program that works specifically for my family and the students that I have, which I absolutely love. Now, I don't need to print the lessons for Emma and Lucy every single day. It really depends on what we're going through on that particular day, what the lesson is, if they need it printed out. But I like to have that option there. I like to have the option 
to work on paper or if we're going away and I want to print out some information, they can have that as we are traveling and still do school. Now, teaching textbooks is on an app now. So as long as you have access to Wi-Fi, I think it's like every six lessons, you need to be on Wi-Fi and it will download the next six lessons so that you can continue to work even if you are offline, which is a wonderful benefit of this program. Um, but I like to also have the paper copies. We used to do a lot of car schooling when my kids participated in public school band and we would be sitting in the car waiting for one student to go in and out of lessons. And so we did a lot of car schooling and having the option to print out the lesson was very helpful. Some of the favorite features that have worked so, so well for my youngest who's never been huge into math. My older two actually really enjoy math. My youngest, it is not her thing. So the, the bright colors, all of the stickers and little animations are so encouraging to her. When she moves through lessons, she gets access to new stickers and new little characters and sayings and animations as she's going through the program. So every few lessons, she gets some new things, which allows her some excitement. And uh, it's one of those motivating factors that makes her want to do math first thing in the morning, which has never been the case. And I absolutely love to see that excitement. Again, because I am a math person, I love math and my older two have loved math so much over the years. So to have a student that doesn't like math is a little bit different for me. So the engaging aspects of teaching textbooks have been so, so helpful for my family. So that is really what we do for a lesson each day. It does not have to be a lot of work for mom. I love that they immediately have that feedback of whether or not they got the answer correct. And if they did not get it correct, they have the second chance, they have the hint. And if they're still struggling, there is the full walkthrough of the answer, which is one of the best parts of teaching textbooks to have that immediate feedback and a full walkthrough of every problem in the entire program. I think that that is incredibly valuable when you're trying to learn something like math. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I do have a corresponding blog post to go with this video. I will leave that linked in the description box. I want to thank Teaching Textbooks for sponsoring this video. We have used and love Teaching Textbooks for many years now and it has really helped us as we have moved through upper level math and, um, and it has given my kids a really strong background in math, which is something that they definitely need. Jack is planning on doing computer science and programming, and Emma wants to run her own business, so she has a lot of need for understanding numbers. Now, if you have already started another math curriculum this year, that is totally okay. One of the wonderful things about teaching textbooks is that they have this amazing free trial where you can try out the first 15 lessons of any level. And then when you decide to purchase the course, that information from those 15 lessons transfers directly to your student account. You don't have to do anything else. It's an automatic transfer. So that is super helpful. And if you are unsure of what level your student is supposed to be in, I definitely recommend taking the placement test. Even if you think your student should be in a particular level, especially in the elementary years, I would have them take the placement test because each math program kind of structures their years differently. Even though you may think math five is fifth grade math, it may not line up with where your student is at. So you want to make sure that you take the placement test. I will have a link for that in the description box as well as a link for the the free 15 lessons. Definitely try it out. It is so, so valuable. So thank you again so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Again, if you have questions, you can let me know in the comments or you can email me. My contact form is always in the description box. If you're looking for more help and encouragement around homeschooling and home management and goals, I would love for you to come check out my membership community. That link is also in the description box. So thank you so much, guys, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.